Hi guys, welcome back to Dynamic Looming. So continuing with my spring theme, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the flower flower bracelet. I know it's a really cheesy name, but I didn't use it, so there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so you're going to need about like 90 bands for this bracelet. And um, so you have like two variations for this bracelet. You have one that's like this, and you have one that's like this. So the main difference is in this one you have like a little hexagon pattern here and in this one you don't. So you can you can choose a variation, you can do like a mix, so like have like an alternating pattern but not have the hexagon or like have all different colors but have the hexagon. Either way they're made the same way so I'm just going to point out what you can do for each variation while we're making the bracelet. You won't need to change anything for that except you might want to change your colors so depending on your variation you're going to need a color for your flower or more than one color maybe you might need a color for your little hexagon pattern and yeah that's pretty much it so you're also going to be needing your hook and either an s clip or a c clip and your whole loom you want to make sure your loom is set up so you have your three rows and the middle peg here is one out in your two side rows. So just the normal way. I'm gonna have an alternating pattern of pink and yellow for my flowers. And then this maroonish brown color for my hexagon pattern. Okay, now let's get started. Okay guys, so our first step is gonna be placing our bands. You want to be holding your loom so the red arrow over here is pointing away from you and I'm going to be holding it like this just so you guys can see better. Okay, so now if you want to do the hexagon pattern, then um, you want to take that color and I'm going to show you how to put it on the loom. But if you do not want to do the hexagon pattern, then you want to take whatever color you're doing for your flower, you want to put that on the loom. So like, let I'm going to do it with my maroon, the hexagon pattern, but let's say you weren't. So what you would do is, since I have an alternating pattern of pink and yellow for my flowers, I just take my pink and put it on the loom instead of my maroon. Okay, so now how you wanna put it on the loom is you're gonna start on this center peg over here and you're gonna go one to the left row, like that. Then we're gonna start on the center peg again and go one to the right row. Now on the left peg, I mean on the left row, we're gonna start on the first peg and go to the second, like that. On the right row, we're gonna start on the first peg and go to the second. And then, once again on the left row, we're gonna start on the second left peg and go to the third middle peg, so like this. And now on the right row, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Start on the second peg on the right row and go to the third in the middle. Just like this. So once again, if you if you don't want to do um, the hexagon pattern, then you can just go and do this exact same thing with your flower color. Okay, so now we're going we're just gonna do that all the way to the top. So we're gonna take that color and we're gonna start on this peg over here. That's gonna be our third middle peg. And you want, you already have bands on this peg, but you want to place your next hexagon starting point right over here too. So you're going to go from the third middle peg to your third left peg, your third middle peg to your third right peg, third left peg to your fourth left peg, your third right peg to your fourth right peg, your fourth left peg to your fifth middle peg and your fourth right peg to your fifth middle peg. And we're just going to do that all the way to the top of the loom. So just remember you want to make sure that the band you use this peg for your starting point. So the peg that already has bands on it. Okay.
Okay guys, so I'm almost done. I just need to place my last two bands with a hexagon. So like that. Okay, so this is how your loot will look right now and it just looks kind of messy. But now we're gonna place our flowers. So you still wanna have your red arrow facing away from you. And you wanna pick whatever colors you're gonna use for your flowers. So I'm gonna do pink first. And you wanna start on the middle pegs. So this is a middle peg, this is a middle peg, this, 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 and this. So basically your middle pegs are the pegs on the middle row they don't have any bands. So we start on our middle peg and we go to the peg. We go so second middle peg to second right peg. And from here we're gonna go in a clockwise direction. So um, we're gonna place bands like this, and each time for these six, our starting point is gonna be this middle. So we're gonna go from here to second middle peg to first right peg. And second middle peg to first middle peg. Second middle peg to first left peg. Second middle peg to second left peg. And second middle peg to third middle peg. Okay, so once we place that clockwise direction, so now our middle changes because we placed it all around, so this is our new middle. So once we place it all around this, this is gonna be our new middle and so on. So one last step before we move on from this middle, we need to place a cap band. So your cap band is gonna be the same color as the flower you just placed. And usually we place cap bands at the very end, but we're gonna to have to place it like this. So um, for those of you who have made the Starburst bracelet, it's gonna be so, sort of like that, but the design is totally different. So if you haven't made the Starburst bracelet yet, I have a video on it, so click on the card right up there and you can go check that out. Okay, so um, our cap band, same color as the flower, goes right over here. And for those of you who don't know how to place it, we can either do it on the peg, so you place one end on the peg, twist it, and place it back up on itself, or you can first do it on your fingers. So you take it like this on two fingers, you twist it, put it back on, and just put it on the peg that it needs to be on. Like this. Both ways work. I just prefer doing it like directly on the peg because that's faster. Okay, so once we did this, we finished this middle, now we can move on to this one. So now since I have an alternating pattern of pink and yellow, I'm going to do yellow next. So here's our band. We're going to start from here and go right over here. So to our, from our fourth middle peg to our fourth right peg. Now we go from our fourth middle peg to our third right peg. And our fourth middle peg to our third middle peg. You want to make sure you push down because you want to have room to put on all your bands. So you're going to need to have to push down. Then fourth middle peg to third left peg and fourth middle peg to fourth left peg. And lastly, fourth middle peg to fifth middle peg. And now for our gap band, like this. So we're just gonna do that all the way to the top of the loom, exactly how we just did it. And you can just do whatever colors you want to and whatever pattern you want to. I've seen people do a rainbow if that's something that you like. So you can just go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So, just whatever pattern you wanna. Okay.
Okay guys, so I'm almost done with replacing my last band and now my cap band. So, now our lingo should look something like this and right now it just looks like a huge mess of chaos. So, right before we start looping our bands, we have one last step and we have to place our cap band on this very last peg over here too. So your cap band is just going to be your hexagon color. So if you are not doing hexagon, then what I recommend doing for your cap band is whatever color you have down here. So over here. So if I wasn't doing my hexagons, I'd do pink for a cap band. But since I am, I'm just going to go with my maroonish brown. So we're going to place it just like we did in the centers, like that. Okay, so now we're going to start looping our bands. So, you want to have your red arrow over here facing towards you. I'm going to hold it like this, just so you guys can see better. Now, with most bracelets, we go inside this top gap band over here. But for this bracelet, we're going to be going inside this gap band. So, you want to, once you're inside this, you want to grab the top band, which is going to be this one. And um, when I say top band, you want to make sure that you like know that your cap band it has like two strands. So one strand here and one strand here. So you don't want to, you want to, you want to have your hook on inside those two cap bands, but they're not going to count as like your top band. That those, both of those strands are going to count as your cap band. So, like I said, both of these strands are going to count as your cap bands. Okay. So now we're going to grab our top band. And this is a bit hard to do. Since sometimes when you're doing it, your cap band comes off. And that gets really annoying. But you just want to be careful. And you want to grab your top band. Like that. And you're going to place it on the peg. Just like that. So now let's say that while you're doing it, your cap band does come off. So just a sec. So whoops, my cap band flung off. And usually when this happens, um, this band also gets off. And so does this. So now we're left like this. And it's easy, you just like replace the bands. So that goes back on here. Our cap band goes back on. And our other cap band also goes back on. So like that. And we can just do it again. So like this. And we place it back. Just like that. So we place it on this peg right here. So the peg with our hexagon car cap band. And now once again we're gonna go inside this middle cap band and we're gonna grab the next top band. So since we just loomed off the first top band, now we have a new top band and we're gonna grab that. This is gonna be easier since the top band already has some space. So we grab that band and we loom it to this peg right over here. So um, once, like when we loom it like this, we're looming it right where it goes to. So our, we have our, so we placed our band like this, we're taking this half and looming it back to that. So right where it goes to. And you know you did it right when you see like this little V shape right over here. So you have it over here and over here, so I know I did it right. So you're gonna go inside this cap band again and grab the top band. And we're gonna loom it right where it goes to, so this bag right here. Go inside the cap band again, grab, whoop, grab your band, top one again, and we're gonna loom it once again right where it goes to. Whoops. Okay. So maybe I'm actually grabbing just the top band and this one's gonna be a bit hard to do because it's in the it's like in the middle. It looms to in the middle rope one. So I just wanna grab it and it's gonna loom right over here, right where it goes to. So once again we go inside our cap band, we grab the top band and loom it right over here in this bag. Where it goes to. So you know that like um pegs are like a band goes to where it goes to because if you tilt it to the side of it, you can see you can see the band. So you can see that this band over here 
is connected with these two pegs. So that's how you know a band goes to where it goes to. So we're gonna go into the gap band, grab the la first and only band that's there and loom it right over here. So we're just gonna do this all the way down our loom. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time with this right over here. So you wanna go and, first you wanna push down on this actually. So you wanna push down on this peg because when we loom our gap band, we're gonna loom it over here. So once I push down, we'll go inside this gap band so since we loomed all of this, um, we're going to start going inside this because there's nothing left to pick up. So we're going to go inside the next gap band. So I put my hook inside and grab the top band. And I carefully take it off. And then I place it right over here. So where it goes to. We're always going to place the bands where they go to for this whole bracelet. Okay, so we're going to go inside our gap band again, grab the next top band, and right where it goes to. Inside, Ooh. grab the next top band, and right where it goes to. Next top band, and right where it goes to. Next top band, right where it goes to. And our next top band and only band left, right where it goes to. Okay, so we're just going to do that all the way down our loom. And one quick thing to keep in mind is a general rule of thumb. You don't want to pull too hard on your bands or else they will break. Okay, so I'm going to be back to you guys once I'm done looming my flowers. So I'm almost done, I just need to lay on two more bands. So that goes there. Whoops. So if something like that happens and your band just like totally pops out from your center, there's also an easy fix to this. So mine popped out from here to here. So I'm just gonna place this. And then my cap band over here, I'm just gonna take it off. So I just took it off the peg like that. It's not a big deal. We place our band back on. And put our cap band back on. Like that. Then I can loom it again and loom it like this. Okay, so right now I just finished looming my flowers and it looks something like this. And you can sort of see the flower shape now, but we still have to loom our hexagons. And even if you like, you know, you didn't want the hexagons to show, you still placed your hexagon band, so you still need to loom those. Okay, so. Now we're gonna do that. Okay guys, so we're gonna start back at our very top gap band. Now we have nothing to do with the centers. We're gonna be doing the sides. So over here, we're gonna go inside our gap band. So you're gonna have a flower color, flower color, gap band, and flower color. So we're gonna go inside all of this. So we're gonna go inside the very last flower color and then grab the top band. So just the top one. And we're gonna loom it. Oop, okay, yeah, so we're gonna loom it over here. So on the left row. So we're gonna be looming these bands also right where they go to. 
because like I said, everything on this bracelet is loomed right where it goes to. And once again, you know you did it right because you can see this little V shape right here. Now we're going to go inside this cap band again and we're going to grab the very last band and we're going to loom it to the right row. Like that. Now we want to go inside our left row and we want to grab the last band. Oop, last band and we're going to loom it forward. Then we go inside the right row and grab the last band and loom it one forward. So like that. Then we go inside the left row. So this band right over here. We grab the last band and loom it to the middle row. So this band in the middle row. And this bag, these bags over here, they're going to have a lot of bands. So you want to be careful that you don't actually like, pop something out because that's going to be really hard to fix. Now on the right row, we're going to go inside and grab the very last band and loom it to that same middle row bag. Just like that. We're just going to loom this exact same way till the very end. So once again, you want to go inside this. And you want to grab the second last band. So it's a bit hard to see. So it helps to see from the side. So like this. And now that I'm here, I can clearly see that this band and so these two bags, this is the band connecting them. So it makes it easier to loom. So we go inside and we grab that band. So like this and then I loom it over here so like that then I go inside again and I grab the very last band and I want to tug very slightly so I grab the band and I, and I place it right over here so I can see the V shapes both times so that means I did it right then we we'll go inside our left row and we grab the very last band. This is gonna be easier since there are not so many bands. And we loom it one forward. Then on our right row, we go inside and we grab the very last band and we loom it one forward. Back on the left row, we go inside this bag, grab the very last band and loom it to the middle row. Now we go inside the right row Grab the very last band and loom it to the middle row. So you just want to do that until you reach the very end.
I'm just doing my best. Do bands. This and this. Okay, guys. So I have finally finished looming everything, and this is how it looks. Yours should be looking something similar. And now we're just going to do our very last step before we take it off the loom. So you want to put it down. And you want to have your arrow. You can have your arrow like facing. You can have it like this. You can have it like this. Or you can just have it sideways. I like having it sideways just because. And um, so you have your middle arrow over here. And if your arrow is facing like this, you want to be having this peg right here. So your first middle peg. So the peg that sticks out. So you put your loom down and you put your hook inside of the bands on that middle peg. So every single one of them, my hook is inside. So like that. And I put it down. And then we take um, so our hexagon color. And if you don't do hexagons, then you just want to take whatever color band this is over here. So whatever flower color you have over here, you are going to take that. So if I didn't do my hexagons, I'd take pink. But since I did, I'm going to take my maroon. And I put it right here on the hook. So this is like just a process for every single race that you'll ever make. You put it on your hook, and you take your hook through that whole middle peg, with that band still on your hook. So for a lot of the bracelets, this is the hardest part. And um, I personally don't think this is one of the bracelets, but for you it could be. So once you take um, your band through all through the middle peg, so you have one side of your hook and one side you're holding, and the side you're holding goes back on your hook. And what I like to do is once I got it like this, I like to push it towards, like over here and I like to check to make sure I really do have all my bands on. And it is really helpful because sometimes you don't. And this time I do. So um, now what you can do is you can just have it on your hook and take it off. What I like to do is I like to put on my clip. Just because that way it feels more safer taking it off. So I... I took it on my fingers, and I'm going to take my clip, and I'm just going to put it on. Like that. And now, I'm going to take this whole thing off the loom. Okay, so I'm almost done taking it off. Just three more bags. Okay. So this really last peg, it's going to look like you need to put a clip on it, and they're loose ends. But I assure you, they're not. If you did this all right... There are going to be no loose ends at all. And I'll show you right now. I just took it off. And voila! No loose ends. So this is how my bracelet looks. And it's pretty cute. And just something I like to do with this bracelet. I like to stretch out the flowers a bit. Just because the hexagon pattern seems to take over sometimes. And it looks way better. Okay. So here it is. So, now you, if this bracelet fits your hand perfectly, great, you just have one last step. If it doesn't, I'm going to show you guys how to make an extension as well. But the one last step you need to do is you have your cap band, and your cap band is going to be two of your hexagon colors and your two flower colors. So, you just want to bow on your two hexagon color cap bands, like this. So that way, this flower color, it sticks down a bit and looks more like a flower than a cap band. Okay, so now you can just attach your clip. If this fits you perfectly, that's great. But if it doesn't, I'm going to show you how to make an extension. So normally, I make an extension um, my way on my fingers, but this time I, want, I decided I want to try making it on the loom. So how you make it on the loom, you have your loom like this, your red arrow is facing away from you, and just like normal single chain on the loom. So you want to take your hexagon colors, or you can take your flower colors. So like in this bracelet here, I have my flowers, and I have a colorful extension. But I have my hexagon colors, and that's what I want to use. So I'm going to use that. So you're going to decide whichever three rows 
I'm just gonna place the bands forward normally like that and how many other bands you need for your extension you're gonna place those many so I'm gonna be using six bands so that's one two three four five and lastly six okay so I have my six bands and now normally we're gonna place a gap band at this very end but um the gap band we're still placing it but not with our like our separate bands we're gonna take our bracelet gap band so our very top gap band just right over here and we're gonna place that instead so we take both parts with the gap band and we place them on the limb so on this very last peg right here then our bracelet, we want to dangle it off to the side. Turn your limb around so the red arrow is facing towards you. We're just going to limb this normally. So we want to go inside our gap band, grab the last band, and place it forward. Once again, go inside, grab the last band, move it forward. Let's do that all the way till the end. So, like that, I'm done, and I'm going to take off all the bands on my extension, except this last one right here. So, I'm going to take them off until this. So, like that, we still have this on our, this one on, and what we're going to do with that is I like to take it on my hook. So... It's so on my hook, and then from my hook, I have to take out my fingers. So now the bands are on my fingers. And from here, we're going to take our clip, and we're going to attach it onto our extension band. So, like this. Well, I hope you like your bracelet, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys!